Welcome to lesson one of the CW0 to on air course. This is the meat of the content. The video isn't very long, but it sets the foundation of your learning CW. Expect to spend at least a week getting the first few characters into your head so you can instantly recognize them. Do not try and rush through this process. Remember that learning CW is a journey, so enjoy the ride. If you take your time and do this early part well, you are setting yourself up for a lifetime of enjoyable ham radio activity. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, it's time to get started. And we're going to start off by going to morriscode.world. And this is a great website put together by Stephen Phillips in the UK. And he does a great job of supporting the ham radio community. So, what well, first thing we're going to do once we get here is we're going to go to International. And then we're going to go down to Training and Instant Character Recognition. And once we're there, the uh, there's these tabs across the top, Alphabetical, CW Academy, Koch, LCWO, LICW, or Long Island CW Club. And I'm going to recommend that, that you use the LICW. You could use any of the ones you want. It really doesn't matter. But the reason I recommend this is they go in increments of three. And it's really easy to get to the next three. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with just your call sign. And there's a very specific reason I'm doing that as opposed to starting with R-E-N-A. And that is the one thing you have to be able to do to get on the air is to, to be able to recognize and send your call sign. That's really it. You can, as long as you can send, you know, your call sign to identify yourself, you can legally get on the air. Now, of course, you're not gonna be able to do a whole lot, but when we get into talking about code buddies, maybe that's your first thing is you just send your call sign, they respond to you and you can send your call sign again and you've been on the air. So we're going to start with our call signs. So for me, my call sign is WV7W. So I'll click WV7. I've already clicked W, so I'm good to go. Now, you may have more characters in your call sign, and that's okay. It's, you know, there's not going to be so many that you're not going to be able to learn them. So don't worry about that. Once you've chosen your call sign, we're going to go down here down to the configuration. But before we do, I want you to take note of this donate box here. So Stephen puts a lot of effort into this and he has ads on his page, but there's no ads on this page. And so you don't have those popping up bugging you just on his home page. So if you get the value out of this that I think you will, you might want to consider clicking this donate button and, and throwing Stephen a little bit of money because he does not ask us for anything to be able to use this wonderful application. Okay. So let's get down here to the playback controls. You know, by default, it probably will have detailed controls, which gives you a lot of instructions. You can go ahead and turn that off. It'll make it easier to, to, uh, to set that. Up here at the top is some things that you can do to tailor the sound. Like by clicking on this speech link, you can adjust the speech controls and focus on this voice right here for a minute. This is kind of important. The voice will vary from browser to browser and operating system to operating system. I'm on a Mac and I found that the Samantha voice works the best for me. But, uh, you know, you've got a lot of different voices to choose from. Some of them sound really bad and they're hard to understand. So pick one that works good for you. I would recommend giving it a test with this button here and listen to it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And make sure it's intelligible and, and works for you. Um, you can tailor the pitch. I have it set to 550. I think that might be the default, but you can you can tweak that if you care to. Use computer perfect timing. We want speech after. And as I said before, we're going to learn the characters at 30 words a minute. Don't freak out about that. Once you get to hearing them, you'll find that it's not a problem because you're not having to count those dits and dots. We don't want to count the dits and dots. Farnsworth spacing is not going to matter for us because we're not going to be doing words right now. We're just doing single characters. So Farnsworth spacing will do nothing. Then you've got the stopwatch. And 
I, I do want you to use this, but it just gives you an idea how long you've been doing it. There's no specified time that you should be doing. Basically, you should be doing it until you get tired or until you just don't want to do it anymore. I would say, you know, limit yourself to no more than, say, 20 minutes at a session. But you can do five or 10 if that's what you can take at any given time. You know, you know what's right for you. And if you're getting to where you're not having fun with it and you're not progressing because you're burning yourself out, you're not going to do yourself any good. So it's better to do more shorter sessions than fewer long ones. And, you know, strive for between 30 minutes and an hour a day and give yourself at least one day a week break where you don't do anything. And I think that will really help you. Okay, so down to this next line, you want repeat on. You want Morse. Count of one. Time. That's this time right here. And speech. That's going to give us the speech afterwards. And starting out, we're going to do 1.5 seconds or 1,500 milliseconds. So before we start, what I want to do here is I want to get this history down below the fold so we're not looking at that. This is an oral thing. You want to hear it to recognize it. You don't want to see it because you're not going to, you know, when you get to doing it on the air, you're not going to have some visual thing pop up. So make sure this says show and not hide. If it says hide, that means it's going to show the characters up here. And you, there again, you'll be looking at them. So don't do that. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to try and beat the computer, you know, try and within the 1.5 seconds after the, after the character is played, we're going to try and say it first. Now, starting out, you're likely not going to be able to do that. It's going, you're not going to know what they are, so you're going to have to hear it from the computer, and that's okay. Eventually, you'll, because you're only working with a handful of characters to start with, eventually you're going to start recognizing them. And, you know, we're going to try and get this time down, but starting out, just get to where you can, to where you can get to about 50% accuracy before you start lowering this. So let's go ahead and start it and let's give it a go. V. V. W. W. V. V. Seven. Seven. W. W. V. V. W. 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 V. So you get the idea. So I was doing that for 24 seconds. You know, you're going to want to do longer. And then once you get to where you can, and, and there again, the 50% the is not, don't try and count mistakes or anything like that or misses. A miss means that either you get it wrong or the computer gets it first, but don't try and count those. You can, we'll kind of know in your own head when you're getting at least half of them right. And when you're getting at least half of them right, lower this down a bit. You know, maybe 100 milliseconds at a time. So go down to 1,400. And then, you know, once you get down to about 500 milliseconds and you're getting to where you're getting at least 50 to 70% of them right, then you're going to come up here and start adding in more, more characters. But we'll get into that in the next lesson. That wraps up the first lesson. Give it some time and practice before you decide to move on to the next lesson, which is going to introduce you to the rest of the characters and how to progress through them. Now, if you have problems with doing this lesson or have suggestions, leave me a comment below so I can address them. And if necessary, update the video to make it the best possible learning experience for you and others. Once you're ready, here is the next lesson. Now, there is no danger with watching this lesson, but don't move on to the others until you've learned your call sign. See you in the next lesson.